Hello everyone, I am Sai Chetanya. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I will be uh, just comparing the Realme X7 Pro versus the Realme X2 Pro device. So recently, I did a video on the Realme X7 Pro specifications and the initial impressions, which got leaked in the few of the websites. And a few of the users, they do have concerns that uh, whether to wait for the Realme X7 Pro or uh, should they buy the Realme X2 Pro device. So in this video, I'll be giving you the quick uh, clarification regarding what are the aspects you need to know before actually buying the realme x2 pro or uh, should you wait for the realme x7 pro or not so in this video i'll be comparing a few of the aspects of what are the things you need to know before uh, buying the device so overall friends the realme x2 pro is uh, pretty good so there is nothing wrong with the mobile phone but hence the realme x7 pro has launched uh, it, it is going to launch uh, very soon in india so that's why i decided to make this video so it will give a quick clarity whether to wait or whether to buy this mobile phone so first thing is that if you are uh, in a hurry to buy a mobile phone so then definitely you can buy the realme x2 pro right now without any problem and if you are that kind of person who can wait for the next uh, one month then you can i will suggest you to wait for the one month with so uh the reason because there are uh, so many things got changed with the next version of the realme x2 pro which is the realme x7 pro device so first is that having 120 years refresh rate and one more thing if you are not uh in, into the refresh rate and if you don't want uh any higher refresh rate and if you are okay with the 90 years then realme x2 pro will be very fine so without any problem but if you are a kind of person who wants to buy the mobile phone for the as a future proof to have all the options right now then definitely you can buy the 120 years refresh rate so right now there are no no such games like not a lot of games are available currently which suppose the 120 years refresh rate but still if you want to have the future proof you can wait for this mobile phone so this is the one reason i would highly recommend you can wait so next is that uh, charging fast charging so right now the in the realme x7 pro this is 65 watt fast charging in the realme x2 pro which has 50 watt fast charging which is a very good and decent speed and the phone battery is a 4000 mAh of battery capacity and here in the x7 pro has 4500 mAh of capacity so what they did is that they increased the charging speed and they also increased the battery as well so that means the overall charging speed time will be coming close to this realme x2 pro the charging time won't decrease it will be the same as uh, realme x2 pro so close to 30 minutes so um this is the one thing you need to know um so don't fall for the 65 watts fast charging so if you want to have a very higher battery capacity mobile phone then you can wait for the realme x7 pro or you this realme x2 pro also has a decent uh, 4000 mAh of battery capacity still it has got very good battery backup without any issues so you can see in the comments below as well few of the users they do have problem after the realme ui update but few of the battery issues got fixed with the recent uh, releasing with the updates so in terms of the fast charging uh, I would give the tie for the both the phones so there is not much uh, going on here in terms of the charging and the battery so next area main thing about the processor so processor is of uh, mediatek dimensity 1000 plus processor as you can see here so whereas the realme x2 pro has a snapdragon 855 processor so if you ask me i would highly highly recommend the snapdragon processor only over the mediatek processor for the long time uh, durability so definitely friends for the long time usage and gaming and uh, the snapdragon processors are pretty good and everything is working fine with the snapdragon processor without any issues so mediatek processor they tend to little bit kind of heat up a lot and have the battery draining problems but overall if you want to know the android benchmark scores and if you are that kind of person who wants to know android benchmark score so then here is the android benchmark score for the uh, dimensity 1000 plus as you can see which, which is a kind of close to 5 lakhs 30,000 so it, it will be around that 5 lakhs 30,000 so whereas in the realme x2 pro which has snapdragon 855 plus processor which can get the score close to 5 lakhs of range so even till today uh this is a very good mobile phone for this kind of price range friends so these are the few differences which i mainly found uh between these both the phones so in terms of the cameras there is not much major major difference is happening so everything is as usual like same like realme x2 pro there is nothing change only change is 120 hertz and 65 watt fast charging and slightly improved the battery and the processor is kind of mixed feelings so this is a, a overall comparison and the conclusion is that 
even the Realme X2 Pro is pretty good. If you don't want 120Hz and if you are okay with the 4000mAh of battery, then the Realme X2 Pro is the best option you have got for this kind of price range. So even when they launch the Realme X7 Pro, they are gonna uh, sell the mobile phone slightly above the Realme X2 Pro uh, phone, I guess. So if that is the case, if the phone is getting launched more than the price of Realme X2 Pro, then definitely you can go to the Realme X2 Pro and you can buy this Realme X2 Pro phone only. If the price of the Realme X7 Pro is less than the price of this one, I think it won't go, it won't happen. But in case if it is slightly close, 1000 difference, then you can go uh, and buy this one Realme X7 Pro device. So this is an overall quick comparison and this will uh, sort out the few of the conf confusions where a lot of viewers are arriving whether to buy the Realme X2 Pro or should they wait. So this might give you the clear idea in terms of the processor difference, in terms of the refresh rate difference and battery charging time differences and everything. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sci-Tech Guru and if you are having any queries regarding this X7 Pro, you can comment below. So we'll try to discuss and uh, we'll, we can, uh, I can suggest you the best mobile which one to buy. So uh, see you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.